Welcome back, everybody. You're watching the Handyman Business YouTube channel. This channel is all about being self-employed in the remodeling and home improvement, home repair industry. If you've been watching the news or various social media accounts, you'll know that the end is coming. The bubble has burst. The easy money is gone. Now, during the pandemic, a lot of us made ridiculous amounts of money. The demand was through the roof. If I had a chart, I'd show you a big spike in demand for people that wanted work done on their homes, whether it was something fixed or something updated or upgraded. I'm getting ready for that to go away. I've already started to see it. Just in the demands, the request for work, this new recession that we're going into is going to affect different groups of people than the pandemic did. The pandemic uh, hurt a lot of people, took a lot of money away from some people, but other people, it gave them a lot of money and they were able to stay home. They weren't spending their money on vacations and they were stuck inside their houses with money burning holes in their pockets. Oh. I know you're wondering, you're like, hey, that is a sweet red t-shirt. And that's a pretty cool cock gun hat. Where can I get one? The link will be in the description. It's the handyman.store. These are, this is my merchandise. This is what I offer. Uh, got more designs coming soon, but click that link, check them out. You wanna be the coolest dude in Home Depot, you'll get one of these. That's why I saw such a huge boom in the demand for the work that I do. To a lot of you guys, this is just common knowledge. So this video is for the people who aren't aware that we are approaching a recession. How do we know that? Or how am I saying that I know that? I'm reading statements from CEOs, heads of banks, the investment firm that manages my money, sends out a newsletter telling what the indicators are indicating for lack of better terms. And the indications all lead to a downturn in the economy. And the way that affects me, and it might affect you, is how are my customers going to spend their money? They're not gonna spend as much of it. So what I'm doing to get ahead of the curve is I'm lowering my prices right now. My marketing all comes by way of customer referrals. They've seen my work at their friends or family's house or my past customers go out of their way to actually tell their friends, their families, their coworkers about the work that I've done in their house. So I wanna stay relevant. I wanna stay talked about. I wanna stay busy. So I'm reducing my prices before I need to reduce my prices so that I don't slow down the work keeps coming. I stay busy with a little bit higher level of volume at a reduced price. I know it's not gonna be forever. There are swings in the way our customers spend their money and the confidence levels that our customers have and how much money they're willing to spend on certain things. So something that you might find interesting is the demographics of people and the location that this future recession is gonna affect more, it's also gonna affect others less. It's gonna affect me more than it might affect somebody in Ohio or Indiana or Kansas. Since I live in a major city with a lot of tech money and a lot of young people that don't know which end of the screwdriver to use, <laughs> um, they're gonna be the first on the chopping blocks or the first to see a reduction in their bonuses, gonna see the first round of layoffs in their company, and that's what's gonna cause them to pull back on their spending. Now, if you live out in the middle of nowhere or a nice place in Ohio or upstate New York where there's not really any swings, there's no booms and there's also no busts. Back in 2008, a lot of areas that are just always recessed or enter their own recession, they didn't see much change. Life just went on as it always has. So if you live in a smaller town, a more rural town, if you don't have big, huge blue chip companies in your backyard, it might be just business as usual for you and you won't have to adjust your pricing to keep the volume up. My goal is to make about the same or maybe even less money in 2023 than I did in 2022. 
2022 was pretty good. 2021 was ridiculous. But I've mentally prepared myself to take a pay cut in 2023. On paper, I won't take a pay cut. I'm going to reduce my spending. I'm not going to be taking $30,000 vacations to Hawaii in 2023. No new cars. I'm not buying anything fancy. And that's not normally what I do, but I'm just much more mindful of what I'm spending so that I can keep that income level the same as last year. I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful though that um, I'll just get a string of jobs from people who weren't affected by this recession or they're, they're just not as cautious. Another thing I'm doing to maintain my schedule and bring as much money in as I can is I'm turning down less jobs. Jobs that, you know, in 2021, 2022 was beneath me. Not really, but maybe it was just a dirty job or more of a backbreaking job, or maybe it didn't quite pay as much as other jobs that I had on the table. I'm trying not to turn down work, even if it pays a little less to keep my schedule full. When I say keep my schedule full, I'm trying, trying to work every day. A lot of guys have been asking, hey, what happened to the Sunday question and answer on your Instagram? Well, around Christmas time, we kind of fell off the wagon there on staying up to date with it. But I still have all your questions saved and I'm gonna make a video addressing all the good questions. Some of them, <laughs> we're just gonna let them go. But um, my Instagram is linked in the description if you wanna get your question in. I'll be opening it up again this coming Sunday, which got to get prepared. I got lots of work. I got uh, 12 hours of live stream video that I got to edit and get up onto Patreon. That's also a way to get in touch with me directly. If you want to ask me a question, Patreon's the way to do that. Uh, that's also where all the live streams go to live out the rest of their lives because they're not fit to be on YouTube. They're way, way too risque to be on YouTube. If you know, you know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.